All right, welcome everybody. Um, today we're playing Dwerve. So for joining us on Twitch. Hello, everybody, in our live chat. If you're watching on the YouTubes, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the videos. Help us grow. Um, this game is a tower defense uh, game that looked really cool. I saw it release on Steam today, and I don't really know much about it, but it just the little trailer looked really cool on it. So we're going to jump in because I love me some tower defense. So let's jump in. If you have any advice or tips in this game, just Dan type and then tell me your little tips. In the massive hollow mountain of Mount Crowcrest, there once lived a nation of dwarves. The dwarves discovered power stones while mining deep in the mountain. They used them to power machines and eventually entire cities. They lived in peace and prosperity for centuries. Over time, they became infatuated with power stones and dug deeper to find more. One day, they dug too deep and unleashed the Gloomdark Hordes, an army of trolls and monstrous creatures. Once the dwarves realized that trolls turned to stone in the sunlight, they fled far from the mountain and found refuge on the sunny hills of Brekka. Centuries passed, and over time, the dwarves forgot their traditions and abandoned craftsmanship, innovation in favor of warring and raiding. History became myth, and myth became bedtime stories. But whispers of a long-forgotten darkness echo throughout the valley of the great mountain. It can be heard in the snoring forest by those who dare to enter. The Snoring Forest. <laughs> Dwerv, we shouldn't be here. What are you even looking for anyways? I'm gonna move myself over here. Huh? She must have left something, some clue. Shh, do you hear that? <laughs> something moved in the trees. Oh, I wish we didn't come here again. Snoring forest is full of vicious creatures, and you can't even fight with that little crafting hammer. If we run into wild creatures, we're done for. Mm -hmm. Come here, hide in my bag if you're so scared. Oh, um, is oh no, arrow keys? Can I um swap that? Okay, um, let me see if I get a controller. I'm not doing arrow keys, damn it. <laughs> this is a 1994 again when I'm playing the Bugs Bunny game on a floppy disk. All right, that's much better already. Ah! Oh god, no! Oh god! Ah! Twerf! Don't die, I'm gonna get help! What in the god's name is that? Twerf's home. Okay, let's uh, try maybe up here. What the hell just oh. happened? Son, you're awake. Praise the kings, you're all right. Uh-uh. How about here? There we go. I told you never to go in the snoring forest. Your mother went in there and never came back. And that was the oh. best day of my life. <laughs> Had I not found you when I did, you would have died. Oh. Forgive my anger, son. I don't know what I would have would do if anything ever happened to you. Oi. Well, I better get back to Brecca Village. Chief Tane and the other warriors went raiding this morning. He assigned me to guard duty again. Uh -huh. I'll be home for dinner. See you tonight, son.
Um. Okay. Can I? Um. Grandpa. Uh -huh. Um. Did Did you go looking for your mother again? Oh, of course you did. You're just like her. I suspect this won't be the last time sneaking into the snoring forest. Come, let's teach you how to defend yourself. Meet me in the field for a tutorial. Alright, we're gonna... I think I will figure this out. Let's do... Actually, there's no great place. Ah, I'm gonna put myself here. It'll be fine. Huh. Where the heck is Airy? <laughs> Us dwarves are very clever, but also very slow. It makes us weak against multiple foes. That's why the warriors of the old days became war smiths. War smiths were artisans of war that engineered magnificent turrets and traps powered by magical stones. Their magical weapons would do the fighting for them. A single war smith could beat dozens of warriors. Some stories say that even a hundred. And believe it or not, your great grandparents, and father and mother, my mother and father, were war smiths during the Great Exodus. The creatures of the snoring forest will surely outnumber you. If you're to survive out there, you must become a war smith. So I will teach you as my parents taught me. Let's see if we can handle a turret. Get the spin blade turret from the chest. The spin blade turret is a melee weapon that continuously damages all enemies around it with its spinning blades. Turrets cannot function without power stones. Nowadays, they are a thing of great rarity. Lucky for you, I've kept one of my parents passed down to me. Mm. I had two more power stones lying around somewhere. I can't seem to find them. Wonder where they went. No wonder. No matter, I'm sure they'll turn up. Anyway, get the two power stones from the other chest and build a spin blade turret next to the target training dummy. Hmm. So... Oh. Ah, those blades will rip through more than just hay. However, now you have no power stones left. You can't build turrets, no power stones. Don't worry. Power stones can't be destroyed by any means. You get the power stones back when a turret gets destroyed or when you recall it. Recall your turret pressing the right trigger, then destroy the range charter dummies. Interesting, so it's like oh. This game is cute and adorable. That's my grandson, look like a wallsmith already. Hmm, now what else is there? Oh yes. Artifacts. They're legendary items crafted by warsmiths that give you special abilities. Take my father's bone cracker boomerang. Gives you a ranged auto attack to support your turrets from a safe distance. But you need to stand still in order to throw it. <coughs> and last but not least, take my mother's dashing boots. These will let you dash by pressing left... <coughs> left trigger. Many more artifacts can be crafted when they remain lost in Mount Crowcrest. Mm. Now it's time to see how you do against enemies that fight back. Mm. While you're recovering from your wounds, a swarm of bee fairies infested my brewery. Be drinking all my delicious honey brewdew mead. Mm. Follow the path to the brewery shop then. Stop before they drink all my honeydew mead. I've just brewed a fresh batch. No. Why would they want to drink your gross, um, I mean, you kind of me, Grandpa. While standing still, Dwarf automatically throws the boomerang. Boomerang at the closest enemy dealing 10 damage. Dash boot lets you uh, dash your turrets and enemies dealing 20 damage and knock back to foes. Ooh. So you become a turret when you stand still. And he auto attacks stuff. So there's no manual aiming in this. It's kind of like uh, Vampire Survivors, but if you place towers instead. I 
like that. It's a cool mix, and the art style is very cute in this so far. Now, he said there were two power stones nearby somewhere. Where would they be? Maybe they're inside somewhere. Let's check all the rooms and stuff. Looks like Breath of Fire. Ooh. So as long as they stand still, he'll auto attack stuff. What are these little circle things here? Grandpa been tinkering with this weapon for ages. Grandpa's workbench, always nice and tidy. This game looks super, super adorable, and I like it. I wonder how limited the towers are going to be, since you can only play so many. I see some money over here, or coin. I guess they're not money, it's sprockets. I grab as many of those as we can find. Go to Esben's Brewery. More money. I'm not trying to destroy the house. I'm trying to find the secret loot. Okay, you know how we play here. I try to find all the things. Because I like to get all the power-ups that I can. That thing looks sus. Nope. Alright, let's go to the, his brewery and see if we can find something there. Oh. Oops. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, no! Oh god. Okay. Well, this is cute. I like this so far. This is amazing. What a clever little game. I love clever games. <gasps> Brecca Village. It's so pretty. Game is gorgeous. <laughs> All right, here come the waves. Uh, 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 uh. I should rebuild my turret. Kill them as they spawn, please. I'm a little bit of a spawn camper, but you know, I'm kind of, I can't even fight myself. I have to be. This is such a cool little combat system. It's so nice. Those little turrets aren't very strong. I like uh, spawn camping. I won't always be able to do that, though, I'm sure. Okie dokie. Esben's Brewery. 
little sprockets are probably gonna be used for upgrades or something. Yeah, we're kind of like a, a like a summoner class, but with with the. Dwarf, you all right? Boy, I'm glad to see you up in the mallet. Tell them you'd be fine. Huh? About that. Thanks for getting my dad when uh, I got knocked out. Nearly became a war, a Warborg lunch. <laughs> you, you really, really had me scared for a moment. <laughs> glad you're here, though. Those bee fairies <laughs> had me trapped. Has <laughs> Evan taught you how to build turrets? You might have taught me a thing or two, Aerie. Uh, have you been licking the mead barrels again? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I might have a sip or do me a favor and don't tell husband. <laughs> Fine, I won't. Uh, come, let's take care of the bee fairy swarming back out back. I'm too dizzy to walk. Make some room in your bag for me. <laughs> it's nice and cozy in your bag. Thanks for the left. Ooh, power stones. Oh. Grandpa's power stones. Harry, did you take them again? They're not toys. <laughs> I borrow them. It's too short to reach the meat. It needs something to stand on. Huh? Well, I'll take him to Grandpa. He's worried about he lost his power stones. <laughs> now I can make multiple turrets? So fancy. Can I destroy any of that stuff? Uh-oh. Careful. Oh, God. There's a lot in that. Ooh, there's a lot on both sides. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, these, huh? these are a doozy. Okay. This is kind of intense. Let's dash, literally. Checkpoint reached. I know, it's like, it's all cute and adorable, and then they send swarms of bees to murder you and it's not so cute anymore <gasps> uh oh uh. Torab look the village is on fire uh. All right. uh, Eric will be fine right he's the best warrior I know <gasps> my son we have to go down there and make sure he's alright grandson come we must hurry back to the house the village is under attack I can't. I have to go to Brecca and find Dad. Mm -hmm. To where? Are you going down there? Yeah. I already lost Mom. I can't lose Dad, too. Ooh. You have your father's courage, Dwerve. And your mother's kind heart. She would be so proud of you. You better be safe. But you better you'd be safer if you can defeat foes from afar. Take my crossbow turret. It's a ranged turret that shoots high-speed bolts. But it's frail, so it's best to place it behind a spin blade turret. A final lesson before you go. When you've built more than one turret, pay attention to which ones you want to recall. You recall the closest turret in the direction you're facing. If you're not facing any turret, you simply recall the closest one to you. Hold right trigger to see which turret will get recalled. An indicator will appear above the turret. That's all I can teach you for now. Please take care of yourself. Go find your father. Crossbow turret. New strategies. Are, are you friendly? Hi. <laughs> oh, hi there. I saw great plumes of smoke rising from here. Your people must love bonfires. Ah! Anyway, I've come seeking direction. Huh? I am John of the Atham. I've, I'm 
trying to reach Seashine, where the best tasting fish are, but I got utterly lost. Tell me, young beardling, do you know where Seashine is? Huh? Your luck's just north here, beyond Mount Crowcrest. <laughs> Excellent! Thank you, kind uh, beardling. Here for your troubles. Um, yeah, my, everyone's dying in the village on fire, but let me just go ahead and do that real fast. Why not? Uh oh. This is fine. Woo! Okay, slice. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a nice twist on tower defense. It's very cool so far. Praise the kings. I understood why you say that. Dwarves don't even have a king. No, silly. Worship the ancient kings from the time of the old kingdom. They always protect the dwarves. Even now, they watch over us. Seems to me like you're bound to wood and stones. True. Oh god, dead peasants! The horror. Do some farming work. Yeah, God's get lots of worship and praise, but they're never there when you need them, are they? You know? I feel like they, don't, they they take and take, but they don't really give back much, do they? So many dead. Brecca Village. Uh-oh. Not a single troll was lost during the raid. The dwarf clans may have become weak, my queen. Our hordes will crush them. The land soon will be ours. Your scouts were right, Carve. Carve them up. The outside world is lush and fertile. Maybe a bit too bright. Now, I require silence. <sighs> there. The dim-witted dwarves will see elf fairy arrows. Blame them for our raid and wage war upon them. Let them weaken each other so our conquest may be swift. <laughs> Warlord, unleash your war gorgs. Let's finish what we started. We must return to Hordal. There's more work to be done. Yes, my queen. Here, boys, dig in. Shame to let that meat go to waste. Uh-oh. <gasps> Woo, that was close. Remember, I thought they were solace. Who are they? Oh. Ari, they remind me of the trolls from Grandpa's stories. Could it be? Eh? What? <laughs> trolls, if they are. <coughs> trolls, why the heck have they turned in, not turned into stone? Oh. I don't know, but in every tale, trolls look exactly like this. Maybe Dad knows. We must find him in, in, before the work guards do. Oh. Look fast. We get too close. Press left trigger to dash away from them. Oh, they hit hard. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh dear God. That was a lot of damn enemy things. What the hell? <laughs> and so the hero died. The game was short. And chat lulled and lulled and lulled. It's like this. There looks like they don't. They take just two hits, so should be fine. Whoo! Much better that time. Locked and barred. Of course it is. I hope everyone's in their hidey holes. Wait for the fire to burn the door open. Good plan. Father! Son, what are you doing here? The village is not safe. You should have stayed home with Grandpa. I came to help you fight the trolls and their warg boars. Those were trolls, right? Oh. I've never seen such creatures, but they must be trolls. Far too ugly to be elf fairies. All these warg boars, did you kill them? My husband taught you to fight with turrets. Well then, I could use your help. Never thought husband's stories about trolls could be real. Now they've raided our village. I have to go make sure they're, they are gone. Mm. Should, should you know how to fight warboards, find and destroy their remaining dens. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, take my tar trap. The tar is thick and sticky. It will slow down the warboards. Um, it's placed on the ground, so don't worry about blocking your path. Uh -huh. Traps only require one power stone. Here, take mine. Don't worry. My axe will keep me safe. Ooh. Remember, they close in. Just retreat and reposition yourself. Be careful, son. Another power stone. Tar trap. So, you want me to put that there. And then these here. Oh God. Woo. Okay. No use, everyone's hiding now. That worked very well. So it's gonna, this game's gonna be all about using the environment. So far this is like such a it's like taking tower defense, but making it way less static. Way less about uh, you know, placing something and then hiding, and more about figuring out ways to adapt. Oh God, bees! Oh God, no, no! No! Oh God! <laughs> I didn't see the bees! This is bullshit! Oh god, no! Hold him back! Woo. Hold him back! Oh no! Oh dear god. Okay, um... 
I'm gonna have to be not greedy. Not to build a blade turret as well. Oh god, nope. Woo! Oh, god. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. Oh my god. This game is adorable and mean. Very mean. <laughs> um. Oh, hi, Grandma. Oh, what's that? Armor will protect me, but it's a. Uh, it, oh, it looks like it'll protect my health. Um, hi, Grandma. Are you okay? Hmm. Granny Larice. Huh? Hello? Excuse me. Huh? Oh, you started me. Can a woman crochet in peace? Huh? I came to check on you. Are you alright? Oh, kings, no. There's been so much ruckus today. Go to whoever, whoever is out there to keep it down. <laughs> and ask Esmond to bring me some honeydew mead when the batch is ready. He. Right. Yeah, she's, she's just enjoying her life. Don't let anyone interrupt her funness. Hopefully I can get that health pack I saw earlier. That would be nice. Uh-oh. No. That's Chief Terrence Horn. The warriors are back from raiding. Uh-oh. On both sides. Okay. Um... Nope. I gotta use my dash. That's the thing. Okay. Um. No. Huh. Much better that time. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's uh look around for more loot if we can. All right, what does that sign say? Ooh. The Snoring Goat Bodil's Tavern, Lock and <gasps> Bard. Of course it is. Dwarf, there you are. I've been looking for you. Come, come quickly. Your father, he's in trouble. Follow me. How dare you lie to me? You expect me to believe that trolls attacked our village? Trolls? Just bedtime stories meant to scare dwarf children. Think I'm a child? Even if these were trolls, why didn't they turn to stone, huh? 
Chief Tan, you must believe me. Do you think us blind? Look at the elf fairy arrows lying around. Yoga saw you into the storing forest at daybreak. Went to plot with your elf fairy friends, did ya? I never, my son, he... Enough! I can't believe you'd betray your own people. I'll have your head for this, Eric. Take him away. No way, Dad! Dad! Sound the horns of war. Call upon the warriors of their clans. We'll take this fight to the elf fairies. Burn their whole forest down. Kings curse them. Oh, their plan worked a little too perfectly. Um, maybe, can I go back down this, nope, north? Twerp, now that Tan wandered on the village, you must talk to Tan. Reason with Chief Tan. That doesn't seem like he is going to take my advice. Not this way. Hi there. Chief Tan, I... You're ex, kid, right? Let me guess. You've come tell me you saw the trolls with your own eyes, eh? Yes, I have, and they... <laughs> oh, of course you have. I'll tell you what, I'm a reasonable dwarf. Bring me proof that trolls exist and I'll release your father. Mm. A head for a head that will do. Bring me a troll's head as proof. You have until next full moon, else your father's head is mine. Oh, is that all? Mm. Tane wants your troll's head for proof. Of course he does. Then, my grandson, you must get him one for the sake of both your father and the elf fairies. Mm -hmm. Troll must still live under Mount Crowcrest. To get into the mountain, you must travel north through the Snoring Forest and the gates of Crowcrest. Mm. And before you go, your father keeps a spare power stone in the chest of the docks. Hid the key nearby. Find it and open the chest. Where you're heading, you'll need every turret you can build. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself, grandson. May the kings grant your strength. Mm. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry. Eric, keep an eye on me. Mm. If only I was 20 years younger. Don't worry, Grandpa. I will help you. Chest is around here someplace. Oh, hello. I need a key. Can I just smack it? Doesn't seem like that's working. Nope. Okay, let's go look for the key. Oh, there it is. Easy. Well, now we'll get three turrets at once, which is going to be just spicy. Ah. I still wonder what these coin things I'm picking up are for. There must be a, a merchant or some way to upgrade my turrets or something. Who the hell's that? I bet you that's the... What you buying? <laughs> Dwarf, who's that? It must be a troll spy. Let's hunt it down. Cut its head off. Maybe we'll need to go to the mountain after all. Don't let it escape. Yeah, I'm, I'm bleeding, and there's no way to heal currently. Where's he going? Let's, um... Let's do a little farming. I don't know what these are for yet, but they're probably for something good. <laughs> I don't think you know what farming means. Well, I mean, just chopping all the stuff with my turret. That's farming, right? It's got to be farming. The Snoring Forest. Here we are again, back in the Snoring Forest. Hope we do better than last time. 
You will before you didn't have the weapons of ancient warsmiths. True. Uh oh. Okay, it's gonna be a bunch of ambushes and ganks, it looks like. What's up there? That's like a secret path. <sighs> a healing potion. I'll save that for later. I know they kind of like zombie Bulbasaurs, didn't they? Interesting. Uh oh. Uh, stay right here in this realm of safety. Okay, rebuild. Oh god, here come the more bees. These little spinny blade turrets are very, very helpful right now. Okay. Checkpoint reached. Oh, little friends. They look adorable. Grr, intruder. The historic forest belongs to Gromville and the Noblings. We want your shiny, spinny metal thingies. Give us all your shinies and get out. Those are Noblings, Dwarf. They kill all the dwarves who enter the forest. They won't let us pass out a fight. Watch out for their blow dart guns. What? What? Come on, turret, do your work. <laughs> All right. Oh, they're going a little fast there. Okay, not bad. These fights are a doozy. Wait a second, that's no troll. You smell like a dwarf. <sighs> Indeed, furry one, I am Sla, a dwarf. Though I haven't been to these parts in many moons, I lured you here for a reason. I'm a traveling merchant, you see. I craft mechanisms and advise upgrades for them. Well, I did until the Noblin stole my tools. Without them, I'm just a vagabond. So uh. let's hammer out a deal. Up this path is Fort Stonewall. The dwarves abandoned it centuries ago. So Noblins moved in and made a mess of the place. Mm, I tracked yeah. the, the Noblins that stole my tools of the fort, but it's too heavily guarded. If you retrieve my tools, like knife your turrets and traps, what do you say? Mm. Wait, you know how to upgrade the weapons of the Warsmiths? I've traveled far, deep, and wide and learned many things along the way. So, do we have a deal? I can Dan type for you if you need me to. Mm -hmm. Dan types an OP weapon. Uh, these spin blade turrets blades do seem a bit dull. Sure, I'll try to get your tools back. <sighs> Great, may the kings walk with you. Uh oh. Okay. 
Okie dokie, what's in here? Potion. Hey, those shinies belong to Grombill, you stinky dwarf thief. What the heck a is a Grombill? Well, those shinies are now my shinies now. Uh-oh. Some of these battles are like very close, very tight. One HP. You gotta like, there's not a lot of planning. You gotta like react quickly on these maps. Oh. Nothing has a shield. He's probably immune to my turrets. Okay, I see how it is. Down here. For it. Oh god. Oh god, no. Oh god. This is scary. Easy game, easy life. Um, healing seems only be from potions, and I just haven't seen one in a while. All right, let me see what we got here. Okay, and then what does this do? And then what's in here? I need the key. Great and all, but how do I open the? Oh, there. Oh, in Lord of Gold, you regain health. Okay, that, that seems right. Oops. Okay, open. And then grab what's in here. Hopefully, there's something good in here. Armor is nice. Armor will protect my health. Um, imagine a tower defense, but imagine that you don't get to, like, pre-plan much. You gotta, like, and you only get to have a certain number of towers, so you have to, like, place them in combat and try to not get hit by the things. You are the center, and you gotta make sure they don't hit you. It's, like, more action quick-based uh, tower defense. With temporary towers. <laughs> Stop right there, dwarf. What are you doing in the snoring forest? Uh, mm -hmm. So what the, the, So that's what those monsters are. I've been tracking them ever since they came from the mountain. I am Mia, the Crimson Moon Guild. Hmm. Must be off. My headman will want to know of this. Raven's luck to you, dwarf. Um, Raven's luck to me? I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh -huh. Goblins who uh, craft mechanisms, who knew? That, I think this is the side path. Let's see what's down here. Ah. Yeah. 
More coins. Hopefully the upgrades are powerful and make a big difference with turrets. All right, go ahead and don't touch that switch. I think they're in the middle. Ah, now we will heal because well, of the loading screen. Yay! Uh-oh, I'm going into their fortress. This seems smart. Huh. It's dwarven made, but I've never seen a statue like this. Uh. Of course you're fascinated by the hunk of stone. Uh. Must be remnant of the ancient kingdom. Find Fort Stonewall. I want to upgrade my towers, damn it, now. Seems like there's a whole area to that left. I go around. Um. The fort is close. Be careful. Noblin guards use shields to block arrows. Your crossbow turret usually against them. Hey, Pesky hey. goblins always hide their stolen treasures in high places. I'll meet you north of the fort once you have my tools. Kings go with you. I'll find your damn tools only because it benefits me. I know. They're my upgrades and I want them now. Wow. Well, look at all those vicious goblin. Noblins. That's a lot of them. Oh, God. Huh. Dwarf, are you sure about this? There's a lot of dwarf eating noblins. Ah. I got this. As long as they just, like, stupidly run into all my traps, this is going to be great. Got a heal po potion there if I need, need it. Let's do a... <laughs> Guess you guys can't take anything on the roof yet. Can I go... Ooh. Is that a dungeon? Is there something down there? Oh my god, there's a whole secret area down here. Hi there. Now, what is... Okay, that opens that. What does this do? Nothing. opens that. Okay. So far these puzzles aren't very puzzling. Well, 
Well, I have a key, but to what treasure? I guess we'll have to find a treasure chest somewhere. Yeah, some of these are very easy. It's like, hmm. Why is it so easy? That's a little sus. I do have a big brain, that's true. There are old dwarf runes in the stone tablet. I can read them. Good, good. All those long boring lessons with Esmond were useful after all. We raise Stonewall in defeat and exile. Ah, the runes are so badly scratched. To stand as a bulwark, trolls overcome the sun. I can't make out the rest. Seems like Noblins don't share your love for history. this combat system. It's very snappy and fun. What does this button do? Oh, it opens that side. And I see a treasure chest, which is probably what the key goes to. So hopefully there's something good in there. Nope, nope. <laughs> Very Resident Evil, <laughs> going between two sluts, two spaces, and losing track of where I am. Let the turrets do the work. All right, what is in the treasure chest? Hopefully, there is a. Of course, goblins have the tools in a the chest. They're shiny. Yeah. Let's head up north. Can we see what upgrade Sla has? Yep, so you, when you stand still, you auto fire a boomerang, and then you can dash, which does a little bit of damage and also helps you get away. And, and then you place your towers with your limited crystals, and that's the basics of the gameplay. Is doing those things to kill enemies. There's no manual aiming at all, which is cool. Other than placing the towers. My tools finally thank you. To where it looks like King's Grace has kept you safe. Now, use my workbench to purchase upgrades for your turrets and traps, but I will need scrap to crap perform the upgrades. All right, let's see. Increase health by 30. That seems very useful because that is that weapon is very needed. Turret takes less damage from arrows and darts. Increased damage by four uh, uh, per second by four. Increased damage by two. Tar trap increased lifespan by fifteen seconds. Let's go for damage. Make the make those um saw, the saw blades have been very, very, very strong and we kinda need them to be a bit of tank. So if they kill things quicker and last longer, that's good. Workbench, don't bite, don't be shy. Blade uh gates of crowcrest. The gates of crowcrest i always dreamed of seeing them. Even after all these centuries, they're still majestic. Now this hunk of stone is impressive. Hmm. How to open the gates? Uh. Aren't you a tinkerer? Think. Huh? Well, there are two openings on the sides. Look like keyholes, but that's it. We need to find two keys. Uh. Must be somewhere in the forest, but the noblins hid them away. Big rock right there is sus looking. I don't trust that at all. Grom's Labyrinth. 
Just who is this person named Grom? I craft a new weapon for you. It's based on an ancient warsmith blueprint that I've managed to decipher. Simply call it the Spike Trap. I'm sure it'll come in handy, especially against shielded enemies. It's uh, placed on the ground like tar traps. So won't block your path. Thanks, Slaw. I'll set it up properly. Goblins call this Grom's Labyrinth, named after the deity they worship. Apparently, the maze keeps their village hidden from outsiders. Sounds like a good place to hide a shiny key, eh? Ooh, Spike Trap. And then this one in the back. Oh, they're all shielded, so that's not going to help anyways. Very useful. This place is going to be very good. What is that? It's like a griffin. Is that an eagle horse looking creature? Huh? Right about them grandpa's books. It's called a hippogriff. <laughs> Looks injured. I smell blood. Quick, Trev, let's go help it. Uh, first, let me look around. Okay, uh, nothing there. Let's cook it. Why? It's nice. Chat's so evil all the time. Doing God's work, keeping them at bay. I know, I, I completely agree, Say, but this is like a clever twist on what a turn, like a tower defense game can be. It's so cool. It's unique and I really like that. Sometimes you think you've seen, like you've seen everything the game can throw at you, but then like a game comes out like this, it's like, oh wow. I thought I knew how, I thought every tower defense game was going to be pretty much the same thing, but this is actually a clever twist on it. Yeah, it's kind of like an action RPG, but you use towers. Yeah. It's like, it's almost like you're a, a summoner in most RPGs. Like you summon, but your towers are the summons. <gasps> Stay away from Kaka, dwarf, or you'll take an arrow to the knee and your adventuring days will be over. Huh? Hush, Kali. Found some willow in Damasa's wounds. You fly again in no time. <laughs> Praise you, Gromble, for bringing down the tasty bird meat. Gather around and kill and feast. Uh oh. Uh. Eri, I think, is, I think she's an elf fairy. Uh. Never mind that, Dwarf. You can't let the Noblins butcher that poor hippogriff. Protect Kaka. Uh. It's a hippogriff. Goblins don't care. They'll kill and eat them. We have to protect Eagle, Horse, and Elf Fairy. Let's go. Boom. And then put that there, and that there. And that should be good. Okay, uh... Careful now. Uh. Yay! Jeez, now one's really anything. Thanks for protecting Kaka. And yes, I'm an elf fairy. The name's Elvira. And now, and this is my best friend Kaka. What's your name? I'm Dwerve. This is my best friend, Eri. Kakal, right? What happened? 
We were flying over the snoring forest when sharp thorns came at us from below. One, uh, one of the thorns hit Kakal's wing and we fell into this maze. What? What about you? What are you doing here? Dwarves never venture into the snoring forest. Hmm? We're trying to reach Mount Crocus because... Oh, wait, you're an elf fairy. Fire, we have to warn your people. Trolls raided my village. They used sorcery to blame the elf fairies. Now Chief Tain has summoned the dwarf clans to war. He plans to get vengeance for the elf fairies. Hmm? You sound madder than a goblin. Trolls aren't real, are they? No. I saw trolls with my own eyes. That's why I'm heading to Mount Crocus to get proof. I don't know if I'll make it back in time. Please warn the elf fairies. All right, I'll warn them as soon as Kakao can fly. I wouldn't want any trolls burning our sacred grove. Hey, before you go, uh. I don't want to be a debt to a dwarf. You protect Kakao, so here, take this instrument. Mm -hmm. It's an elf fairy relic called Windcaller Gems... Gemshorn. Play it when you need me, and I'll come and, and fa uh, fast as Kakao can fly. May the great mother... Uh, may the great mother grant you haste. So, you see the meter on the right there? The little green six? Each tower or trap costs a certain amount number of that and then it'll when it gets destroyed or um, you re unsummon it you get the coins back so you don't get any uh, energy from killing monsters you just have a static amount of energy that you can use um I need to go get that coin over there I want it I guess we're not eating caca. Why would you want to eat caca? Alright, we need to go. I need to find all the coins because we really need those upgrades. Oop, not there. Up here. Good. Also, we have this over here. Another coin. I need so many. Your background looks so cool. Thank you, uh, Black and Bambi. A Bambi. Can these be destroyed? Must be some way over there. And thank you for the four-month resub. I appreciate that. Um, I can go through most of it. Oh, hi, Tifa. Oh, hi. Uh, Tifa just came by. And she just wants some pets. She just she's she's needy. She sometimes she just like needs you to stop and pet her, and she lets you know that she needs it. Hmm. Actually, we can go into that section over there. So let's go back over here. How am I not following you? Um, I don't know. Sometimes Twitch. Unfollows people randomly. It just, it just happens. Like you'll be following someone one day, and then one day they're just not following them anymore, and no one knows why. It's been a bug that's been on the site for about ten years. It's just sometimes randomly you're just unfollow people for no reason. It doesn't happen to everyone. It just happens sometimes randomly to some accounts. Was there was a run or well, oh, oh, I guess we can do the sprint. Oh, I can go through here. Let's see. Checkpoint reach Knobwood Village. That is a massive key, like a big daddy key. 
Dwarf thief, shiny key belongs, ground build, hands off. That one looks plump and juicy. I can eat some fried beard. Go, go get him. Uh-oh. God. Ah, oh, you piece of crap. Okay. Oh, you can dash through. Th okay, thank you. I didn't use the dash bar. Right now we have static towers. I don't know if we get to choose a loadout later or not, but right now we just have these towers and only these towers. Okay, that was very nerve wracking. Yeah, the, the blades don't don't damage us because we're so sharp. We're right where we stand under them, I think. If they did friendly fire damage, that would, oh my God, that would be so deadly. see what this tower thing over here says. Huh. Noblins must worship this monster. Hmm. Huh. Looks like a, a troll to me. All right, let's go around and get the other damn key. We need a potion. Please be generous and give us a lovely potion. We have enough money to afford an upgrade, too. We should probably upgrade our bow trap. All right, let's see. Spike trap. Increase lifespan by 15 seconds. Increase damage by two. I think that will be worth it. Less damage. Increase fire rate. Poisoned arrows. Fire. Oh, chest. Oops. You're right. Forgot the chest. This is why I have chat along. It's chat member stuff that I forget. Or did I forget the chest with a big brain play just to make people type in chat for the first time and feel welcome in our community? No, I forgot. I forgot. But that would be a big brain play. Purposely forgetting stuff just so people be like, I got to type. I got to follow and log in and type. Let him know he forgot. Mm. 
think down this way. Ah, please be full of good stuff. Uh, some coins. Not an impressive amount of them, but eh. That would be interesting, like, if you ran a stream and you had it in sub-only chat and you purposely just made error after error after error, just get people to, like, be like, I've got to tell him he's not doing it right. And then they make him subscribe and then they have to subscribe to tell you that you're doing it wrong. Be like, whoa. <laughs> Sounds like soda stream <laughs> or lyric. <laughs> Maybe that's the tactic all along. Maybe that is the big brain play that's happening. Bloomdale Marsh. Wonder if we'll find Randy in here. That's a big turtle wearing lipstick with a human face. Who are, who are you, little dwarf? Where did you get such splendid blue fur? Huh? <laughs> I'm dwarf from Brekka Village, and my blue fur is my hair. Listen, I need that key from the island. Can you get it for me, please? <laughs> of course I can, but hmm, will I? Yes. But first, you must do a favor for Fub. You see, I'm trying to thicken my curls, but those damn noblins try to eat me every time I go to land and collect more fire shrub. Yeah. Four fire shrubs should be enough. Bring them to me, and I'll get you that rusty old key for you. Huh? All right, I'll try some fire shrub for you. All right, well, easy. So he uses plants to make it look like he has hair. Huh. That's a big brain play, sir. You guys got this. Come on, you got this. Okay. Alright, not bad. Getting a little low on health though. Would love a heal. Uh the bees are evil. They're evil bees. No! <laughs> 
<laughs> Stuck around and popped me. That was close, though. Whew. Careful. Okay, not bad. Much better that time. I, I got your damn fire bloom to give you your damn sexy hair, okay? Will you get it for me now? Whoa. Oh, exquisite fire shrub. Perfect for my new curls. Always a pleasure to meet with a dwarf, of course. Whoa. As promised, the key. Why anyone would venture inside that troll infested mountain is beyond me. Find any glamorous wig materials there, do bring some back for me. Uh -huh. This is the most fabulous turtle I've ever seen in my life. You've seen trolls? Hello. Why, of course! I do live close to the mountain after all. However, I only recently have trolls strayed from the mountain's shadow. I wonder why. Oh. Well, best be on your way, little dwarf. Don't want to be here when night falls. Alrighty then. That's a turtle. He's the most Chad turtle I've ever seen. Oh, a heel. Perfect. Huh. I need more money. What in the actual... Who dares enter the mountain? Ah, looks like my noblings will feast well today. I brought down that bird meat. Now I'll give them dwarf meat. What, not us, dwarf? Run or fight? Run and fight. You need dwarf. Name the witch queen. Gomble the gatekeeper will crush you. Realize there'd be boss fights in this. This is badass. Thank you. 
Yeah, gameplay wise, this is very, very, very cool. No! HP. Oh yes. Easy. First try. First try. Uh, I was awesome expecting just a tower defense. I know it's so much more interesting than just a tower defense. It's such a good hybrid of action RPG mixed with tower defense. So cool. Did Ari were alive? Barely. But yes, we are. You fought like a real warsmith, Dwerve. Huh? You didn't drop those keys during the fight, did you? No. Oh, oops. Nah, I had them, um... Wait, oh, I had them right here. Let's go open those gates. Look at all this lovely money, though. That means upgrades later, because the rock's blocking my way. Well... All right, into the mountain we go. That would have taken you half hour? Yeah, that, I would thought I was going to die. I, I thought for sure I was going to die and have to redo this, but somehow, somehow I just came through in the end. Wow. Whoa, those mushrooms look plump and juicy. Whew. The mushrooms, mellow mushrooms meadows, more beautiful than any book could describe. Grandpa said our ancestors escaped through here during the great exodus. Huh? I must be the first dwarf to walk these caverns in centuries. Well, let's hope you live to step outside the mountain again. I don't like how shadows crawl on the ceilings. Um, where is the lady? Because I need some upgrades. I have all this money to spend and she's nowhere to be found. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. They're coming from the ceilings. Oh, nasty ceiling spiders. Oh dear god. <laughs> Help them out a little bit. Budrick, thank you for that resum. Okay, well, we're going to have lots of upgrade materials when we find her again. Over this way. Mission get a troll head. I think this set is very good. Hopefully, we can find a couple more power crystals because that would be lovely. 
Uh, Tre Trelga, thank you for subbing with Prime Gaming. What's going to be your first ever subscriber emote? Chat would like to know. Your first one ever. And Budrick, thank you for 45 months. Appreciate that. Ceiling spiders are the worst? No, German sausages are the worst. <laughs> oh, there she is. Huh. Dwarf, come to the borders of what used to be ancient Dwarf Kings, uh, Kingdom of Cromark. <laughs> I did indeed for everyone. Some upon these parts many years ago. Whole mountains crawl with those monstrous creatures. You want to survive, Dwarf. You need to know the strength, the weaknesses of every turn and trap. The warsmith of old and powerful arsenal. From the jaw-breaking punch turret to skull-splitting battle axe turret. Oh, and the Tesla turret. A me mechanical masterpiece is light electrifying. You will master them all. For now, take the scatter shot turret. It hurls a burst of stones in a wide spread. It pushes back swarms of enemies that are closing in on you. You can even, even knock them into pits. So much, uh, so much dwarf, uh, dwarf being the first dwarf to visit these spider-infested caves, so I beat you to it. Ooh, Keep um, in mind the scatter shot turret is shorter range than crossbow turret. Now you can use my workbench whenever you wish to change your equip turrets and traps. Ooh. So this is like a shotgun. Well, let's see here. Oh, so we can choose which ones we want to have equipped at a time. Interesting. Let's see. Increased health by 50. Damage per second by 8. Turrets take 50% less damage. Hmm. I feel like we need to get down to the... Like, get some really strong turrets ha happening. Those blade turrets are very nice. I think we need to increase their damage. Because because if they can rip through the front lines of stuff, that's going to be incredibly useful. So good. Yeah, this game is a pleasant surprise. I like this one. It's very cool. And unexpected, which is always nice. When you get surprised by a game that you're like, Ooh, this is actually very cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. They have nice pushback. Especially when there's not a lot of choke points. Let's break that thingy as well. A little bit more money. Um... There's going to be a Nintendo Switch release of this later this year. Is this on PS5 or PS4? Uh, because that would be really cool as well. Oh, you push them off the edge. That's cool. God. Oh, I don't like those. They're so swarmy. Come on, Blade Trap. Do your thing, buddy. Yeah, this game would run great on the Switch, I'm sure. Be a great Switch game. Or I could just play this on my brand new Steam Deck. Oh, name dropping. All right, these guys are ranged only. Yeah, 
Yeah, Steam Deck is really cool. It's like a Switch if it had much stronger processor and power. I was impressed by just how damn big it was, though. The, the Steam Deck is like... It's, it's like you, there's no way to comfortably put it in a pocket or anything. It's not happening. It's so big. Hmm. Let's see. Crossbow turret. Increase range by two. Health. Increase the width and shoots an additional stone. Damage by five. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's try upgrading that. We'll see how that goes. 